<laughs> oh my gosh, it really looks like you're crying. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy Tuesday. I washed my car yesterday and look what happens. A bird poops on it. This wouldn't have happened if I didn't wash my car yesterday. That's just, uh, it's just how things happen. Don't look, I'm embarrassed. I have a, such a clean car and bird poop. On this beautiful Tuesday morning, I am on my way to work. I wish that I could just be sitting by a pool because that would be fantastic. Sunny days in the summer. Doesn't matter what you have to do. Doesn't matter how excited you are to go to work. Doesn't matter how excited you are to sit inside and watch movies, do whatever you wanna do. You should be by a pool. It's like rule number one. What should you do with your day in the summer? Sit by a pool, cause it's beautiful. The weather's nice, cause you can't do it any other time of the year cause it's too cold. But too bad I can't sit by a pool right now because I got to go to work. I got my uniform on, the nice blue. I'm going to go service some coffee machines and make some moolah, bring home the bacon for myself. <laughs> After work, I stopped by the office to come see Jake and Ashley. <laughs> but I have to go. I've been here like 10 minutes, but I have to leave. And she's giving me the lip. I can't do I can't it. Do Don't give me the lip. I can't do it a lot. <laughs> and Jake's trying to give the lip. I can't, it makes I me want to leave. I can't do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's, oh, stop. Stop. You're really, you're really living up to this whole like bunny rabbit thing. <laughs> you eat like one, you Salad. start to shake your mouth and then poke out your lip like one. Bunnies do that? <laughs> I mean, they do in the movies. Oh, when their eyes will. Jake up. just figured Have you ever out. Seen Hop? <laughs> I've never seen Hop. No. Yeah, I just see her like eyes getting like really big and then like just single tears like welling up and then. That's in a water bottle. Oh, no. oh, if you put water over your face, I would be so happy. Oh you no! Have a computer. <laughs> you could just make yourself cry like a real woman. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it really looks like you're crying. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> oh my gosh! Stop making so much noise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. I got a really emotional co worker over here, okay? <laughs> Look at how excited Addie gets when mom gets home. She's so excited. The aftermath of some cooking. What's on the menu tonight, mom? Let's see, we've got some carrots, some pork, carrots, pork some delicious bread, pork some leftover one. cupcakes from Daniel's birthday. Mm. This whole thing of olive oil. We're apple drinking pie. this tonight? No, apple no. pie. Apple pie. With ice cream. With ice cream. This watermelon. These tennis balls. Uh -huh. These M&Ms. Did you explain to your guests why we're- We got a, we got a lot to eat tonight. Well, why, why we're, we're having uh, our neighbors over tonight to eat because Hattie wants to come in. There you go, you punk. Oh, because uh, my neighbor, Brandon, who I grew up with, we used to like play by the creek, we went to the same school, we grew up playing and riding bikes together, doing all kinds of fun stuff. He's getting deployed to Japan. He's in the Air Force, uh, and he's going over to Japan for two whole years, and he leaves Saturday, so we're gonna have dinner tonight. Uh, what, I don't know when they're coming. 6.30. 6.30, so yeah. in 24 minutes, yeah. but uh, we're gonna have dinner tonight and have him over. Yep. The last two raw before he leaves for Japan. Yeah. It should be a fun time. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much I'm gonna vlog because it's sort of like when you have new people yeah. on the vlog, it just feels awkward. Yeah. You know, you're just like, hey, I'm gonna pull out this camera and record you. So, I don't know, we'll see. And I wanted to show you guys, we have a surprise. These tomatoes, just kidding. These lawn chairs, just kidding. This pool! Look at that. This is a beautiful sight. We were just swimming at Ashley's pool and I was like, you know what? I wonder when we're gonna open our pool. And as I was gone, Dad opened it. There goes Mr. Dolphin. 
Mr. Dolphin's hanging out in the pool, but the pool, it's open. It's got a little bit, it's like a little green. So I think we're gonna do some like shock treatments and some chemicals and such. But the pool, it is, uh, it's officially open. We just gotta put the ladder in. We gotta treat it so that it's clean. We gotta clean out the bottom, get all the dirt out. But we should be swimming pretty soon. And the weather out here, again, another gorgeous day which is very very exciting i love nice weather and so does hattie right head want to play some frisbee frisbee time let's go ah a relaxing evening we had the neighbors over uh we said goodbye to my neighbor brandon who is leaving on saturday so definitely pray for him uh think about him and thank you to all of those out there who may be watching this who serve our country just like Brandon is gonna be serving our country, we are so grateful for your service and for what you do in sacrificing for our country. Those who have served, those who are serving, thank you very much. But I was just uh, watching Fear the Walking Dead. For those Walking Dead fans who watch Fear the Walking Dead, which is a spin-off of The Walking Dead. So like The Walking Dead is what takes place on the East Coast. Fear the Walking Dead is what takes place at the same time on the West Coast. So you get like Mexico, California area, what's going on during the apocalypse. And I find it odd that they're like recycling things from the Walking Dead. They're doing like similar storylines, not quite the same, but similar things that go on, just like rehashed. It seems like it's a theme, like the Walking Dead is doing it, Star Wars did it, they made... The Force Awakens, which is basically the same movie as A New Hope, episode four of Star Wars, and then now it's leaked that like the possible title for episode eight is The Fall of the Resistance, which is a lot like Empire Strikes Back. So like, ugh, are they rehashing Empire Strikes Back for episode eight? Or are they gonna do the same movie again? It's just, it's such a theme now, like Finding Dory, I watched the third trailer for Finding Dory today, and it looks identical to Finding Nemo, like same exact story as Finding Nemo, just with Dory. Why are they like rehashing, redoing stories that we already know, and just giving it to us again with like a whole new color palette, and a whole new like, new characters? I don't care, I want a new, original story. I enjoy like live-action Beauty and the Beast as opposed to animated Beauty and the Beast, but I'd much rather get a whole new story. Like, I'm glad that you're redoing my childhood, but give me something new that I might be able to enjoy. And speaking of Disney, I am so excited. We're like two months away from our Disney vacation, and then we've got like five trips this year planned going to Disney because we're going to get annual passes, so we're going to be at Disney all the time. So I am so so excited that's at the end of the summer and then in like two or three weeks i'm going to oregon for ashley's brother's wedding and then after that i feel like i'm doing something else no i don't think i'm doing anything until disney so we're going to disney and then i get back and i might be going to the beach with ashley's family so we have a very fun summer planned and especially disney because who doesn't love disney i'm just so excited to get back to Disney. A lot of the stuff is going to be closed, but I'm just excited to get to Disney and see what is open that's new, see all the things that we love to do in the first place. But going so many times, we don't feel rushed. Like sometimes you go to an amusement park like Disney or Universal and you sort of feel rushed. Like you only have four days, so you got to get as much in as you can. But knowing that we're going to go for like 30 days total this year, I'm just like, you know what? We can take our time. We can do a lot of things, which is going to be a blast. So I am super, super, duper, super, uber excited. But I think that is all for the vlog today. Sorry, I sort of just sat around and did nothing. But sometimes you need those kind of days, you know? So thank you for watching. If you are new, you can hit that subscribe button and follow me on my daily life. If you have been here for a while, you know what the deal is. Like the video, comment below. I like to talk to you guys, and I don't get comments often, but if you comment, I will respond, because I don't get many comments, so you can just comment below, and I will most likely definitely see it. So, comment below, and if you have any like questions, I was thinking about doing like a Q&A video. I don't know, I'm not going to do a Q&A video if nobody cares, but if you have questions and if you want me to do a Q&A video, 
let me know. Like this video. Ask some questions, and I'll answer them. So on that note, I'm going to head to bed. So thank you guys for watching, as always, and I will see you guys tomorrow. So choose virtue, choose life. So long for now. Will she do a Monet, a Dali, a Mozart? Can you paint a Mozart? We will...